Hello guys and welcome to another game of Legion TD. So yeah, once again, Merry Christmas. Still feeling the Christmas vibe over here. We are gonna be playing PHCC MILG and it's not an easy mode. And I know one of my subscribers do um, love this game mode, so we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for one to go as well here. I'm not the biggest fan of them. Seems like we have no choice. We want to reroll after the Lord of Death. I think we do. Let's also place this guy maybe. Yep, this is even better, I would say. Now I'm inclined to sell my Wandigo here and just go for the Revenant. Maybe I should keep it for now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it for now, I think. With this, we should be able to challenge the first round. Okay, and if we want to go for smaller units, then we could just uh, place the Raiders. I want I want to go for the bigger units here. <clears throat> okay, one digos are tier five compared to an outcast, which is only tier four, because in the late game the mischance proves mightily stronger. It allows to dodge like 200, 300 damage attacks, and so its HP is effectively bigger than anything else. Especially if you get lucky with those mischances. But during the early game, its total health is quite low. And so, outcasts are quite stronger. I forgot to check this, but ELO wise, they are ahead. They're playing against someone with um, 1900 ELO, and so he should be able to lead their team well. Now, one of my guys. Leak here actually. I'm gonna throw in taunt for that one. Um, I have a feeling that the enemies are gonna send the next round, so I think it's best for us not to challenge it. This guy's gonna leak this. Yeah, I, I don't think it's such a good idea to challenge the first round with two trees. And this guy's gonna get most of the leaks here, I believe, with his attack speed. For the medicine man, which I don't think is the brightest idea. We're gonna stay 6 2 for until uh, until the next round at least. I am prepared. I'm not gonna challenge the next round. I have, I have a feeling that they're gonna send it. Given the fact that two of our guys leaked already. Um, I'm also inclined to go for raiders now. Is that gonna be such a good idea? Or is it better to go for aquas? I think we need survivability. Let's go for raiders instead. Hopefully, I'll be able to upgrade two of them. No, only one. Let's get four of them instead. We'll have them upgraded later. Oh, I'm able to upgrade one at least. I'm not gonna challenge. This guy's still challenged. Yeah, he does have three of knowledge though. So even if he leaks, it's not gonna be too big. <clears throat> Let's press the attack here. Oh, they're not sending, okay. I'm gonna get some more lumber. Let's see, let's check if we'll have leaks. Pushing number here. There you go. Okay. Uh, 
Then Herm. Then. Uh, I think we're missing one more. For Bog. I'm missing one more for Bog here. What is this guy? Bowman. I feel like I want to go for the ancient one to go here. Yeah, let's go for it. <clears throat> Who knows though, they still might CC. This guy knows what he's saying. Okay, I'm gonna send one more dino just to maximize the income. Well, quite confident that I'll be able to hold. Hopefully, hopefully. Ooh, someone left the game before the game starts. They also sent here. It's fine, which is a standard. For the next round, I think we should merely stay 10-2. Otherwise, we're not gonna be very strong against the next round. We also have not challenged two of the rounds, so we should be, definitely be careful. It does feel like their send is quite small because they went for value with those erasers. For us, we're gonna be able to clear. This guy will be able to as well. It does look like they're leaking a lot though. Two guys left already. Two guys left already. Oh, it's a quick win for us. GG. I'm just gonna go with Lumber here. <laughs> what a quick game. Weird one. I'm forfeiting now. I'm glad we did the win. It would take three hits before they would be able to kill. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? What the hell did I do? We're gonna lose a lot here, definitely. These guys aren't lumbering anymore. We're 10 5 for round 3. That's good. Are we gonna survive this? I don't think so. Six H as well. Mm. Ooh, great roll for this guy. Fortunately, game is ending. Just in case. They need eight attack, I believe. Nah. So GG. This would have been a very okay game for me, having 77 income for round three. But yeah, it's over. About time for you to forfeit, my guy. GG, ooh, look at that. <laughs> we get 20 elo out of that. They did have a higher elo compared to us. 
I'll take that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you still learned, even if it was a quick game. Um, based on the build, based on how you can protect the Infernal, I always like going for LOD because I always like going for units that can lumber up quite quickly in the first rounds. And then my tactic is that I slow down um, after being able to reach 10 to so that even if we have slowed down on lumber, our income is still going to be high. So yeah, I'll see you again next time.